here we have the prickly pear cactus. This is the spineless prickly pear cactus, although spineless is sort of a misnomer because the spines are there. They're just really small. Um, can be avoided by just wearing gloves. What I'm showing you now is the protective coating, waxy coating that is produced by the cochineal insect. Um, the cochineal are actually visible not having burrowed into the pad as deeply, we're seeing them exposed here. The recent rains have washed away some of their protective coating, exposing them. You can see the dark red that is actually used in quite a few, quite many foods, um, including your strawberry ice cream. Um, here we have some new growth, which I'm pretty excited about. I, I've made sure to add sand to the soils here uh, to make sure that they're draining really well, but I'm a little concerned with all this rain that the prickly pear is getting too much water. Uh, the cactus really doesn't want much water, as do my aloe. I very specifically have planted the plants that don't need much water in one location, knowing that they're going to be fine in that scorching sun we often get here in San Antonio. But look again closely here at the cochineal insect. I'm curious how long it's going to take for them to protect themselves again and produce that white fuzz. I'm also debating removing these pads. Uh, there are some sources that say that the prickly pear cactus will eventually kill the cactus. Uh, some people will debate that, but I think it's pretty obvious here that once an infestation takes over on a pad, um, it can completely destroy the pad. Um, here we have some of the tuna, something I would like to at some point make uh, either jam out of or even the prickly pear cactus candy that oftentimes we can buy. Um, these cactus I pulled from somebody's garbage that was offering them up and all I had to do to cultivate them was to make sure that I left the bottom pad exposed uh, to the air and sunlight to callus over. This took a few weeks. And once they calloused over, I just created a nice environment of sand and soil mixed um, and stuck them in the ground and they were able to take. Um, I did have to support some of the larger pads with uh, fences, but I think I'm getting ready to take those down.